Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are going to be redoing, reshuffling and doing a new binder setup. So if you like the sound of that video, then please keep watching. Hi guys, welcome back. I know I've been gone for a couple of weeks, but I've just been busy with finishing end of term school, finishing for summer with gym and then obviously just your orders, which we're very, very grateful for. Um, but as you can see today, got some stuff going on here. Um, I've been just really been diving into YouTube, watching people, um, especially this last week, whilst I've been off for summer. Um, and I've noticed quite a few people have been splitting their binders up to, um, obviously they have their cash envelope binder then some people are doing like the annuals variable and the long term and challenges and one that has really stuck out to me is uh balancing the budget so Gemma um very kindly I messaged her on Instagram after like re-watching all of her videos from the very start you can tell I've got some time on my hands now um and just it just stuck with me how she did her binders her budgeting sheets her calendar everything so we have bought three of her digital downloads her calendar a budget sheet and her expense tracker and thanks to Gemma as well i've bought the file notebook pad thing that you can tear out and put them back in as much as i love the budget mom workbook it's just not working for how my pay works because if you don't know I got paid twice a month so I get paid on the 28th from my school pay and then I get paid on the 5th of every month from gym but that money from the 5th is from the previous month's hours if that makes sense so like my pay for July that I got paid on the 5th was for June's hours so for July's hours I won't get paid till August and just the way she's done it she splits it up weekly works out her bills, what she needs for her cash envelopes, then whatever's left after a sink and funds and stuff like that is then the starting balance for the new week and it goes through that. And I've done a rough plan and you'll see how that goes in our um, my next video um, because that's what I'm going to be doing. And it just feels like I've got money there because usually I just went, right, all my bills came out of the f I've paid from the 28th, what have I got left that I'll just do. And then I was trying to make that last over four weeks and it just it just hasn't been working. But anyway, I'll stop rambling. I'm going to be doing a reshuffle of my binders. So, got all the cash envelopes and savings challenges here. I'm just going to put them to this side. And I've got some new categories, some new envelopes and stuff that I've just swapped and changed for things that would work better. So, um. I'll just move them because I'll do the easiest one first. So, as you know, I have this A5 um, binder here. And I'm still keeping this because I have a penny challenge in here. Um, here, I've got one of the ones that I've got just what well, would be including like our mishap bundle, which have now gone back live on our Etsy store. So simple things and mishaps people have asked it could be something very similar to this where the hole punch was wrong so i've just used one of those it could be like this hair on it old logo didn't print properly back to back but it's still it's all stuff that you can use but we just don't want to sell them for full price instead of throwing in the bin you might it gives you an idea of what our products are like before we purchase and then i'm going to keep my emergency fund um challenge in here the a5 purely because what i find is if i have lower denominations it's easier for me to do i won't feel like i'm putting loads it feels like i'm putting more in and then i'm not being shot with like if one of these was just 20 pound i'd be like oh god i've not put a lot in there but when i see if it's four cost i've been building on it and once i hit the 250 i'll just put i'll know in my head i've got 250 there i'll just rub it all out and redo it and just keep using the same one and plus obviously emergency fund is for it will get bulky so i'm going to keep that there i'll leave all these challenges and binders and stuff 
that I mentioned from our Etsy shop, link down below, and also of other people's, because there's a few others in here, that is going to be in there. So that is my part of my long term, but I want that to be in its own, just purely because it's easier. Then, so I've put that there. Then obviously my cash envelopes, my son says, but my mum's is just here at the side, is this A7 check binder. We're currently out of stock of these, but just have a quick glance of what it looks like here. The A7 envelopes. So for that, my categories are fuel, spending, dogs and rollover. Then annual is going to be in this lovely light blue colour here. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to personalise it this time. I'm just going to leave it. So in this, I am going to be doing car insurance, dog insurance. This is different. So I've just had Luna's renewal cut in. It's gone from £20 a month to £27.97. 97 in a year so they, i think they, it went up by like a hundred pounds so it works out it's like something like 325 pound a month a year so it's cheaper obviously if you pay things yearly so you're not getting the direct debit charge so that's what my plan is to aim for that is to save up for that christmas i have then have my business envelope which is like for my tax return for gym anything related to that costco because obviously i have a Costco card through my mum and even though it's easy for me to go 20 pound here but it's just stuff i can have there and then car warranty so my car warranty on the deal on my car runs out in november and what i might do is either shop around and see if there's another good deal coming up if not i'll use the 40 put the 41 pound 62 in here or i'll round it up round it down whatever and just keep saving so if anything does go wrong for my car i've got like a backup to my car maintenance if that makes sense so let's put these in so we've got business here i do need to make some more trackers in here so we've got business right then car insurance and i'm putting them in alphabetical order because that is just the teacher side in me car warranty so a few people ask in my previous videos that what's the font and the colour that we used that well I have personally. So this is, hopefully you can see, the Holland font in the holographic blue. Very nice. Mm. And we've got some pastel colours coming up. Um, I just need to work out how to do the listings and stuff because we have got loads of colours now. Um, Christmas... Mm is in here same envelope costco and then dog insurance get me little circle out and that looks like a have everything so there should be six so let's double check so we've got business car insurance car warranty christmas costco dog insurance so they are my annuals in this lovely light blue so let's put that to the side okay variable is this stunning lilac purpley cropped binder which you guys have actually been loving so we have got a few left of these we've got it in pink and black the off-white is out of stock we're just waiting for a shipment to come in of that and obviously if you didn't know as well we have now done free uk shipping for anyone in the uk northern ireland as well um and then obviously our international orders will all be international signed and tracked. So yeah, in this lovely purple crocked is going to be here. That works like that. So variable is birthdays here. Um, reason why this is birth 
variables and not annual as quite a few people have said to me when I asked is because we have our families scattered across the whole year so we've got like got my cousins in January my grands and my sisters in February mine's in March nobody's in April nobody's in May June is my dad's nobody in July I believe August is my brother October is my cousin and my aunt is November is my mum's December is my grand the granddad's and my other auntie but obviously they get a different amount for each so that is why it's variable so because to me variable is like there's no set you might have set goals but it's different for each one and you might need it at different times of the year so we've got that then we've got actually that is not even supposed to be there because that's not alphabetical it should be beauty um so if you have been a returning subscriber appreciate it very much you'll know that i used to do the um our self-care challenge in the a5 but um i just thought beauty would be there because it looks like the only thing i'd use it for really is hair you want to get my hair cut if i ever got my nails done if i ever decide to get my eyelashes done eyebrows my mum is qualified to do it so she does it at home so anything like that and it could be anything beauty wise as well i need like if and when i ever wear makeup and i need some new stuff i'll buy that from it'll come from here so that is what this is for so it's beauty then it's birthdays and uh b c then it's car maintenance here oh then it is clothing and in clothing as well i'm going to be putting in this shopping savings challenge that i got from planning well planning with ella i'll leave her link down below um love her her aesthetics everything each uh, shopping bag um icon is 25 but if you really want to you can split it because it's two bags to 12.50 and it's to save 300 so that is what i'm going to be using to save so i'll put that here because even though it's got a tracker i can still see when how much I've put in, how much I've taken out. So see there, it looks very nice. Fits nicely. Clothing. Then it is debt. Really want to tackle down and pay as much as this off and as fast as I can. That's there. Then it is health. So this will be any if I ever have to buy a prescription or dentist, suppose my dentist likes to find something to always make me pay more. So yeah, and then obviously I used to have braces when I was younger, and then I had an issue where my tooth snapped, but the root was still there, so it was just it's just pushed my whole front teeth to slightly move. So I'm looking into getting like a retainer to sleep at night in. Um. So this is what that will be used for. So health. Then we have holiday and I go away on Monday, which is all, that's why it's empty because it's all paid for. I've got my euros already. And yeah, self-catering. I know the, what it's, the place is like. I've been there for years. Mum's left some money behind the bar for me and my sister. So yeah, nice, cheap and cheerful holiday to get away. It's going to go in there and then the last one is social so i used to have a nights out one and i've swapped it to this because it's just anything social wise with my friends and i'm also going to be adding in the summer savings challenge so this is also again from planning with Ella, lovely summer summary theme so there's four eight twelve sixteen twenty twenty four um fruit icons and you just pick your amount and divide it by that to figure out how much each one is i'm going to start this and i'll you dip into it from 
for this summer but also I'm going to start pre-planning for next year because we, me and my friend want to go to a lot of the festivals next year and really just enjoy ourselves and not worry about everything so this is going to be going in to this here and I, be oh. I believe that is my variable just let me check it sure should be eight so beauty birthdays car maintenance clothing debt health holiday and social so i'll leave everything linked down below as well so here we go and then last one i'm just going to re reuse this old purple one that i had so this is going to be my long term slash challenges binder so as you can see it's through the leaves it's got dog hair everywhere so right first is going to be florida 2026 challenge so if you didn't see uh, my happy mail video i got this from the lovely budget with ira and this is his 20 sided dice challenge um to save oh, 1050 so i know ira uses this for with his spending money he rolls it and then whatever he gets that's what he takes away but for me what i'm going to do is i'll roll it so for example so that would be three and that's the amount i would save like budget to put in here and obviously on the back you get this 20 five rows of 20 and you just cross it off at the back um and, and i'll leave a link down below he's got loads of different colors as well so i'm going to put the dice in here because it won't fit in the gaps of the ring when it's closed i don't think oh it does right so i know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put that in last so that's from budget with ira and that's for florida 2026 when everything is redone because i know they're redoing universal then i have house deposit so i'm going to be as my debt increases because obviously i've just got um a credit card which i put lena's medical bills on and then money that i owe my mom which ends in september and just want to clear everything um i'm going to be start saving for a house deposit i have got the help to buy isa but i've seen i know budget mum uk was talking about it as well as uh, planning with ella they have opened a lisa account um a lifetime saving so i need to book an appointment with my bank to see about that but and i'm going to put it in here first and then i'll just deposit it because i know what i'm like i can just easily transfer it it's not going to end well so yeah and i'm sorry if you can hear next door a jet wash in their back garden and the next one is luna so if you didn't know we've got two dogs two chocolate labradors tarka and luna <coughs> sorry and luna has got a medical condition called hip dysplasia and this is where her hip joint which should be like this her actual hip joint has is out so she had surgery so where they cut the top of the uh hip joint out and replace it for a metal one so it wasn't going to come out um and she has it in both hips but one was worse than the other and they said just get one done we'll assess it in a couple of years time and actually it's been four nearly four years she got it done just after she was one so she's just to save up for this for like a medication because we just just keep topping it up just in case if she goes for a long walk she runs the field this dog 
is zero to 100, no matter how many times you take her out, out that is just what she's like. And her medication is about £70. And it's just for backup in anything like that. So that'll be next. And then I have, well, I thought it was the 528 envelope. It's not, it's 50. But I'm not going to change this. I'll just add another two. And it is, again, Planning with Ella's 50 envelope challenge to save 1,275. And what I'm going to do with this, I'll save this as and when. And then I'll either use it to clear off debt or I'll put it towards my harvest deposit fund. We'll see and assess. But yeah, this is from Ella and I'll put it in here. I don't know what made me think it was 52. Clearly my maths wasn't maths when I was figuring this out. But that is going to go in there. So I'll just move these all so I can put the envelope in. So this is my long term binder. So it's going to go in here. So yeah, that is everything. I've reorganised my binders and hopefully this will work. I just want to say a massive thank you, especially to Gemma from Balancing the Budget who helps me out with um, how to split them and how to work out give me initial start i'll leave her channel link down below i'll leave ella's and i'll leave iris as well and any products that i mentioned i'll leave it as well but yeah comment down below what you would put in your annuals variable and long term just to see you know people who are watching who don't really want to comment but they can check the comments and see that would be great but yeah, if you like this, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell to don't miss out on our future uploads. And until next time, have a great budget and stay safe. Bye for now, guys.